Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Well, the 2018 session of the Indiana General Assembly is off and running. It's a short 10 week session, but uh, there certainly are issues that will generate statewide buzz, including Sunday carry out and expanded uh, cold beer sales, workforce issues, redistricting, the minimum wage, to name a few. For more on what the session's hot button issues might be and potential winners and losers, let's bring in Howie Politics Indiana publisher Brian Howie. Uh, Brian, uh, as always, welcome and Happy New Year. Year. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, short session. Uh, it's going to be a snooze fest, or is there going to be some action? I think there's going to be some interesting issues. I think you know the sh shiny object, as we we call it, is the, the obviously the alcohol, the right. Sunday sales. I think that that's a pretty decent chance of that mm -hmm. passing. Uh, so we're expanding beyond the vineyards and the mm -hmm. and the brew pubs, so you'd be able to to buy uh, uh, alcohol on Sunday. Uh, the cold beer, mm -hmm. that's that's the one that I think is going to get stalled, probably yep. in the Senate. I've talked to Senator Zay, for instance, this mm -hmm. summer. He, he didn't think that there was a lot of, lot of support for that. So that may be the, the thing that gets left behind there. Okay, let's uh, t go from uh, Sunday alcohol sales to uh, a real crisis for the state, and that's the opioid epidemic that many states are facing right now. H how do you see the legislature dealing with this? Uh, it's such a big problem, an expansive problem. What, what do you see happening? Well, I, I think, first of all, there was a story that came out in December saying that they were not going to seek any new funding. When I talked to Governor Holcomb, he was saying, no, that there's probably $100 million in the pipeline through the Cures Act, uh, through the HIP 2.0 waiver, uh, IU is getting involved, Ball State. So we're going to see some resources coming in. Uh, it's probably going to be, you know, the long session, the budget mm -hmm. session in t 2019, where the, the state's really going to have to make some decisions on whether they're going to put, you know, more funding into that. And we're going to need it. I mean, mm -hmm. Uh, drug czar Jim McClellan is telling us that we're not even close to reaching the peak of this crisis and it's swapping everything from county jails to ERs mm -hmm. to schools that are being flooded with uh, special need kids uh, mm -hmm. being raised by the grandparents. Yeah, do, you, do you sense that at the state house, at the legislature, there's a there's an understanding of the, the depth of the problem? Because as you mentioned, it affects affects everyone and businesses included in a, in a big way. You know, I've been watching with fascination this, uh, you'll see all of a sudden, uh, a, a spate of overdose deaths in Laporte, and then uh, down in Martinsville. I mean, we're seeing these things spike. Connorsville, it's happening all over the place. Any legislator, you know, all 150 of them, no, they're, they're seeing this in yep. real time. Yep. Another big issue, and certainly the governor has made it a big uh, issue on his agenda, is workforce uh, development, training, uh, and getting uh, more Hoosiers skilled up for the jobs they need. How do you see that workforce issue? There's so many programs, so many things going on around the state. How do you see that planning? The governor tells me there's 90,000 jobs that can't be filled. A lot of people can't pass a drug test. Mm -hmm. Uh, I talked to Brian Burton over at uh, Manufacturers. He's saying there's 30 job programs over nine agencies, and the speaker, uh, Brian Bosman, came out this week as one of their priorities. They want to kind of apply some metrics, see what's working and what isn't. There's a lot of work to do on workforce yeah. development. Do you anticipate that, that there will be something done? There will be a lot of attention on the workforce issue. Absolutely. Not only this year, but next. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that and the, the school funding issue. We're, we're having some problems with uh, a lot of rural districts that are losing enrollment. They're they're facing some problems. So we've got the new Senate Appropriations Chairman, uh, Ryan Mishler, mm -hmm. who's just announced legislation this week that, that's going to kind of put a Band-Aid on yeah, that. Yeah, you mentioned rural funding for education. One other education issue that it's increasingly getting attention, teacher shortage. That, I think, is, that's going to take multiple sessions. You've got to wonder what the education schools, what kind of graduates they're turning out, and whether the requirements, the tests that the teachers have to pass, whether they're too stringent. Uh, but they're, it's real. It's real, and, and the state's going to have to really get a handle on that here in the next uh, three or four years. All right. It's great perspective, as always. Uh, Brian Howie, Howie Politics Indiana. Should mention you've got a new mobile app, right? So you've got yep. some things happening. You can go to the App Store, uh, download the HPI mobile app, and you can uh, uh, get news in real time on a daily basis. Great. Great follow for action at the State House, to be sure. Brian, as always, thanks very much. Great. Thank All you. Right.